joints. When there's inflammation within the joint, and this occurs in any joint in the body, the hip, the knee, the elbow, the autonomic nervous system sends a signal to the central nervous system and says, hey, this joint is inflamed. The central nervous system processes it, and this is where it gets a little dicey and, and, and definitely have its room for understanding. And that is what happens in the central nervous system for the signal to come back down through the autonomic system and tells the muscles to tighten up. But it's well known. Orthopedic surgeons know about it with tennis elbow. Tennis elbow, central nervous system says tighten up and the muscles that support and move the elbow tighten up and it creates pain and other symptoms, but primarily pain associated with those muscles are attached to the bone and the nociceptors are in the periosteum next to the bone. And when the muscles tighten up and pull on the bone and the periosteum, it hurts, ouch. That same system, autonomic system works with this joint. And when that signal comes back to tighten up the muscles, sometimes this muscle, sometimes that muscle, they don't do some symmetrical signals. And patients will complain of different symptoms associated with those muscles becoming tight.